Hey everyone, Luke here, aka Stone Benson again. I'm here with another comic book review. It's time of uh, The Untouchables by uh, Joe Pruitt. And uh, this was originally released by Caliber Comics, which um, went out of um, my business. And then um, uh, Joe Pruitt actually created Desperado Publishing, which is sort of like an imprint of that image. That's where this trade comes from. Got it from the library, your library alone. As, uh, as I have a lot, a lot of uh, trades that I've uh, been checking out. And, and The Untouchables is basically about um, a team of prohibition, prohibition agents. Um, this really isn't um, like The Untouchables uh, TV series or um, the film that, that Kevin Costner. It, it's sort of related, but it's sort of like what if Elliot Ness had sort of um, retired or disappeared and you know, someone else has to take his place, and that's the role of Joseph Tarpley. There's a guy in the middle there with the blue suit. So he has a um, team of uh, agents who um, help uh, crack down on crime and uh, illegal, um, um, illegal um, alcohol, pretty much. And um, this was this was a, a pretty interesting story. Um, um, if I was to compare it to uh, the previous um, book that I I read, which was uh, "You Have Killed Me," that one had better art, I think. But the story what quite wasn't wasn't really there. But I think I felt this, the story in the Touchables was pretty intriguing, even though there there were, there were some missteps here and there. Um, they, um, Joe Pruitt, who wrote the story, kind of um, kind of put in some '90s kind of an anachronistic. Um, things here and there, like, um, you know, people calling each other bro and having sort of like modern, like, um, exercise equipment and apparel. It was kind of, kind of strange, uh, to see. And I'm not sure if this was supposed to be some alternate reality or, or what happened, but, um, I guess it could probably qualify as that because, I don't know, as uh, some of these things are just kind of a very kind of Strange, and I think um, I think he refers to, um, to Chicago, where where this series takes place, as sort of being the Vegas of the East, and pretty plenty of Vegas esque signs are there. Now, let me uh, get the name of the illustrator here, John Kissy, K I S S E E. He was the art for this book, and I'll show you what it looks like. It's sort of reminds me of Art Deco for some reason. I'm not sure they're very very stylized. Um, again, this art isn't quite as good as some like you have killed me, which was more cartoony, but um, this was um, fairly interesting. I don't really read um, a lot of books with this kind of art. I'm not really sure who else does this, but certainly interesting uh, to read. And um, um, there's a little, little a brief cameo by um, um, Al Capone in this one. So, you know, I mean, uh, I don't want to give stuff away, but this is basically a Fortune Me series with a little one shot at the end. What shot is kind of. It's more procedural than um, the the mini series that that comes before, and I'm not totally sure if it came out like a year or two after the, the original series, but it's sort of disconnected, and even though it features some of the same characters, it isn't quite as quite as up there in terms of quality, and um, everything moves along at a very predictable rate once you know who's the person who's been killing these uh, rich guys. That's sort of the plot, you know. These high society guys are found dead in CEO terms. Um, three guesses on, uh, on, uh, who's killing them. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I felt like the story for the, the miniseries, not the, the one shot at the end, was uh, pretty interesting, and it was kind of, kind of interesting to see. Um, um, there were some, uh, some scenes of action, including a, a shootout in this casino that I thought was, um, pretty interesting, and, um, probably, that's probably the highlight, the highlight of the book, you know. Um, you know, I give it, give it a 7 out of 10, it's, it's an alright book if you're interested in crime noir, it doesn't appear to be very expensive if you want to buy it online, I got it through my air, air library alone to read, it was alright, um, good to read once I suppose. So anyway, um, a little bit of a preview of what's next, I, um, I, I recently just found out about this series actually, I'm not sure how, but um, I'm basically trying to read it, I guess it's maybe crime comics as I, I think get my hands on pretty much and this is the one that follows that, that genre.
was called Potter's Field by Mark Wade and Paul Azaceda. Azaceda. I'll try and um, see if I can figure out how to pronounce his name um, uh, before I do that review. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, happy reading.